Hi guys, um, I'm back from Asia. I got back a week ago and I'm trying to hurry up and do this because I w wish I could do this another time, honestly. So, um, as you all know, by the title of the video, I got the Chloe Drew bag in Mardi Gray. So, I will be unboxing now. And I'm sorry if I keep on um, looking at the screen because I can't tell if I am in the um, viewfinder if I'm blurry or not because my right eye is damaged you can't really tell right now but um, I don't think you can really tell but basically my right eye is damaged so I can't wear any contacts in it so I only have have my left eye contact in so everything's kind of blurry right now everything's kind of confusing right now so yeah this is uh, the unboxing so I ordered it off uh, my Teresa, but they're located in, I believe, Germany. Yeah, but they're they're a European store. So um, I know a lot of people order from Farfetch, and um, I forgot what else. Put it over here. I forget. But anyways, I decided to go with my Teresa because um, I do have a gift card from there. So um, I'm just going to get it from there. But yeah, it comes in this kind of box and you can choose if you want it delivered by UPS or DHL. I chose UPS, but DHL delivered it, so I'm not sure why, but it got here in three days, so that's pretty quick. Sorry if you can't really see. box like this ah so pretty I love this and it has a little folder cute cute different papers for your return form yeah this is just the return information if you want to return it but I hate taking out the ribbons off boxes because they're just so pretty and I can't tie it back like that, so... Mm. It sucks. So... I need to figure out this placement situation of when I do unboxings. It's not ideal. Ah. Ooh, okay. Wow, that was a really weird ooh. But yeah, you get a pink tissue paper from my Teresa and then you get a thank you card and it tells you who it was packaged by. I know this was packaged by Glazelle. Oh my God, I really hope that's the name. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, Glazelle, thank you. But yeah, that's what they give you. And then they give you this little bag, Chloe bag. Alright, let me just go up closer. And this is a Chloe bag. It comes in like a light pink beige lettering. Okay. Ooh, dang. Wow, this is a lot darker than I expected actually. Like a lot darker. <laughs> But this is the Chloe Drew bag. What is this on the back? But yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm not I'm not gonna be like, you know, sugarcoating anything. I'm gonna be blunt. I thought it would be a, a little lighter than this, like color-wise. Um, but I do like it regardless. I love it actually. I still love it. It's just a little darker than I thought it would be. It's not um, as gray as I thought um, it would look like. Um, on camera, it looks beautiful. <laughs> I cannot talk right now. On camera, it looks beautiful right now. It's like a grayish color. And it is gray. And what I really wanted about 
uh, what I really liked about this bag at least was that in certain pictures it looks like gray, it looks dark gray, it looks brown and sometimes it looks like tan you know so I really like the versatility of this bag and so I could see myself wearing this bag through all the seasons it's not like a seasonal bag for me although of course it is perfect for spring and summer but in person it is a little more brown yeah it is a little bit more brown than I thought it would be um, here is Lettering. So I do believe that this is when you want to close it Just go like this and you turn like that Well, this is how you lock it But I'm going to be wearing like this because I know a lot of people in the reviews They said that this comes out really easily so I'm probably just going to go like this And yeah Let's get on to this and open the bag and see what is inside Oh yeah, it just has this tag on it and yeah, if you take it off, then you can't return it. So this is the inside. So just to make sure, so this is what I really look at for bags. Like I want to make sure that everything is intact. So for the Chloe bag, they have this gold uh, press lettering on the front. And I always, I might be OCD, I may be picky, but I do want to make sure that everything looks brand new. Like I don't want it to be chipped or anything like that. I'm probably going to have to take off my contacts, <laughs> like one of my contacts, and then like just look at it because right now it's kind of fuzzy. But it does look beautiful. Um, yeah. The material is a lot rougher than you would expect, at least for me. I thought it would be more smooth and more... Um, more, like more buttery smooth but this is definitely more pebbled not like caviar like for chanel but it's just um the material is just rougher in general so if you were to get it don't be surprised if it's not as light thin and smooth as you would think it looks like in pictures um just some stuffing a lot of stuffing yeah, this is just the inside of it. This is the suede interior. Yeah, it has a flap right here. Yeah. And inside it has these things. All right, so I guess this is the original tag that was, well, I'm really pink orange for a second. This is the original tag that was on the Chloe bag. And then here is the yeah this is the authentication card <laughs> yeah they just didn't write it on the back but yeah usually they write on the back like when you bought it and from what store but since it's online I'm guessing they don't I don't know it's my first time buying it from online but no worries my Teresa is verified um, and then I get this card with all the information inside. Yep, has it in multiple languages. But yeah, so they just give you those three things inside. And yeah, that's basically it. I did hear a lot of people say that the chain is very heavy and I'm gonna right now all right Oops. so it is it is actually pretty heavy on its own I know a lot of people carry it like this but this is honestly really heavy this is actually probably the same weight as the YSL chain which is really heavy but yeah, this is what it looks like. I am 5'5", which is, I think, 165 centimeters. And um, yeah, it sits right at my waist, like right in front of it. So, I mean, this is typically where I like having my bag. So if... I would just typically like putting it in the front. 
This is a really good bag though for like everyday use because it's not too overdressed. But if you want to just wear it um, um, on your shoulder and not crossbody, then this is what it looks like. So it's really a bit long, but not really. So yeah, that's basically it. And just to let you see the up close of the chain. Oh my god, focus please. Yeah. This is how it looks like. So it's like tied basically. But yeah. Um, first impression, I guess this is also a first impression uh, video, but um, first impression, I definitely would give this a 8 out of 10 um, or 8.5 just because like it looks better in pictures and online. I mean, a lot of bags are, I mean, I do still love it. I love the look of it and everything. It's just the material isn't what I had expected. I thought it would be a bit like higher quality, but that's just me. I still love it though. This is my first Chloe bag, so I'm not an expert on it. But yeah, for me, I love it. I think I will wear it a lot. I just question if it's reasonable for the amount that I paid for. So I bought it on my Teresa for $16.50 by the gift card. So um, I don't know how much it was after that, but basically it was $16.50 um, including sh shipping and handling. Um, I know in the US it's also $16.50 but that's not including taxes and fees and shipping if you were to pay for shipping but yeah um i think it's i don't know this is basically the same amount as my ysl um so definitely i think they're both the same quality maybe this one's a little bit better and this one can definitely fit a lot more i might um go off camera and try to fit some things in here but or maybe i'll just do it right now i'm gonna do it right now hold on okay the essentials i always bring with me and that is my card holder i bring a card holder with me everywhere i don't usually carry wallets they're kind of too big and chunky for me and usually the bags i carry are just for essentials but yeah i can fit this this is my huge battery pack so yep I can fit that in there easily and an extra camera battery um, this is my camera case so ideally you know see if I, can fit that. I can fit that too wow and my chapstick okay so that is basically everything I can fit, which is everything I usually bring when I travel. And I don't bring my camera everywhere or my battery pack, so the fact that I can fit all of this... Wow, this is amazing. Okay, cool. So I can fit all of that, and I could probably still fit some other small things, like maybe a compact mirror. I was thinking, I was debating between this one. I've been wanting Monty Gray, but I was debating between this one and Abstract White. I know Abstract White is sold out almost everywhere. I know my Teresa only had a few left. But the reason why I didn't buy Abstract White was because I wanted something that was going to be um, not a seasonal bag, you know, something that I could wear literally every day. For the, for the whole year um, and also something that was casual I feel like the white one is a bit too um, I just bought a white YSL bag um, like maybe like a uh, half a year ago so I didn't want too many light colors or cream bags and also that YSL one it got a little dirty in the back because you know you can't really wear dark colors with it it will smudge and it will smear onto the bag and discolor it so I didn't really want that kind of um, worry with a new bag so this one is definitely a lot better in color decision and versatility and 
efficiency. Um, the white YSL, I know a lot of people only carry, you know, money and cards and stuff like that, maybe a lip gloss and their keys, but in that bag, I can actually put a battery pack only. But this one, I could put in everything, so I definitely see myself carrying this a lot. So I really enjoy this bag and I love it. But yeah, this is really cute. Love this. I'm gonna wear this probably every day of the summer now <laughs> and probably fall and until I get sick of it and then I just alternate my bags again. But yeah, um, hope this video was helpful to you guys who want to buy this bag and if you guys are interested in Mahdi Gray because I do know that this color is very, very popular. I've been wanting this bag for over a year and a half to two years now so to finally get this, I am very happy and honestly, for me, I know a lot of people um, want to get bags while they're on trend but for me, if I really do love a bag, it doesn't matter when I get it because I get it because I like it, you know? I don't care about, um, oh, I got it late or anything so I'm still glad that I have this in my collection now so yeah, thank you for watching guys and I hope this was helpful and yeah, have a great week or weekend. Bye!